What's going on guys? It's Elf here and today I'm bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and I'm using the ICR. Now I'm pretty sure this is the first time if not second time using this weapon and I finished it, it's completed. The only gun I've got left to do for the assault rifle class is the M8 and the M8 up to now is the worst gun for me to use. I know some people love the M8, but personally for myself, I'm struggling so, so bad. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because it's the three round burst, but saying that I didn't struggle with the other three round burst, like the XR2, I did that one just before, and that one seems so much easier than the M8, but knowing my look, I'll get used to it. I've only got at least like 21 headshots with it. I'm, I'm literally pathetic with that gun. I've been trying all night, you probably can see I'm absolutely knackered, I was up till 7 this morning, crashed and then we're up at 11 and then I've just been grinding since just to get it done, but I'm struggling, so if anyone's got any recommendations of what I can use for that gun, attachment wise and perks, then I will appreciate it because all I've got to do, then we're moving on to the LMGs and the shotguns, yeah. Do not look forward to that. Unfortunately, I fell off the bridge there in this game. I am actually playing with two people as well. I'm playing with Hannah and Sam. So shout outs to them too. Sam didn't play the best. I think it was on the form for this match. I think he only went four and two. Hannah had a pretty decent game. I can't remember her score at the end. But this game itself was really quick. Hence why it's only a six minute gameplay. The enemy team only got 35 points to our 100 now yeah that's what the overall score was it was pathetic it was over in a flash you saw an enemy bam dead so another one dead they saw you not a chance they were just getting absolutely wrecked by all of us it was an absolute joke it didn't feel like call of duty he gets a cheeky little shot in the back don't know why the knife didn't kill him because it was in the back of him not on the side but the front Fortunately I get taken out as well just behind that statue and that statue for me is the worst thing on this map. I always get killed behind it or near it or whatever. Just ridiculous and Breach on the whole for me is a pretty decent map. Don't get me wrong, every game mod on this map is decent. Now he, he left, I think he just had enough and thought you know what I'm out of there, the beating is by a mile. And you'll notice on this I'm using really low score streaks and you're probably wondering why it's team deathmatch why don't you have something up higher well I must have been doing search and destroy just before this game because I, I forget to change my streaks I'm like oh I'll just jump into a TDM I've got everything on that I need to use and no I've not so that's probably what I was doing I think I'm running the suppressor on this not quite sure don't think I have. Maybe? I'm not sure. It's, it's been a while since I've played it. And saying that, now that I'm using the M8, I've just prestige to prestige 8, which is perfect. So all this double XP that's been on this weekend, I've ranked up a full prestige. Now, that's quite an achievement for me because every time there's double XP on, I tend to not play. I don't know why. I just don't bother. And it's not that... I can't be bothered, it's just that I'm just never in the mood at the moment to play COD or if I am it's just a couple of games and I'll go off and I'll switch to Netflix or whatever and it shouldn't be like that, it should be a time when I can sit down, have a few good games, you know, a proper chill out and that's it but at the minute it's just not happening but I'm also using the Sparrow so I must have just prestiged on this match I must have, because I, I only use the Sparrow when I prestige until I can unlock like, like the Annihilator or the uh, the Gravity Spags at the beginning. But as you can see, it's 74 points to like 24 or 25, whatever it was. I pull out the RC because I'm just like, I'm just going to ride around. And I picked up a hardened sentry out of the care package as well. And that was a pretty decent streak. Not the best sentry gun on Call of Duty. It's not as powerful, I don't think, as other ones. As you can see, 81 to 29, the game was almost up and they put this sentry gun on top, I think, of this building as well in the end. There's just, there's just nothing to do on this match. 
there's absolutely nothing. You can just run around, get a few kills, and you can just probably keep running around the map without getting killed because they just won't play in by the looks of it. They just didn't bother. And another cheeky little kill, I think they were trying to snipe me as well. Wasn't going to work. Hop on top of the roof, like I said, put down the side on sentry. 89 to 32. Really, really boring game. It really was. And I think I, I think I went 25 and 7, which isn't the best game from myself. But because it was a dominant game for the point wise, 92 to 34, I couldn't not show this game just what were the other guys doing. But guys, this game's wrapping up now. It's 96 to 35. I hope you enjoy just how dominant a team can be against people that just don't seem to want to play. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Take care and I'll see you then.